Welcome to my channel IT Smart Training. Today we are going to learn AWS pricing model. If my video is informative, please like the video and subscribe my channel. And don't forget to press the bell icon to get more up to date. So let's start today's video AWS pricing model. So we are starting AWS EC2 pricing model. So in my previous video, I show you uh, some topic like uh, how to create EC2 instances, uh, how to create EC2 Windows instances, Windows uh, Linux instances, and how to create AWS free tier account. So these all are we covered in my last videos. So if somebody missed my last video please at first you just check once my last videos uh, so after that you will learn this video so that will be helpful to you so in Amazon EC2 instances pricing model the first is Amazon EC2 is a free to try so Amazon provides you one year free tire subscription to access the access some services and there have some limitations we already discussed in my last video like uh, you uh, uh, can uh, run your EC2 instance uh, around uh, 750 hours per month so this kind of thing so EC2 is a free to use for testing purpose or some labbing per lab purpose so you can use free tire application so but there are five ways to pay Amazon EC2 instances and we show you in my last video that there are some uh, instances or there are, the, uh, there are some templates where if we create that um, uh, EC2 instance so we have to pay Amazon so the that instances are several types so basically there are five ways to pay Amazon EC2 instances first is on demand next is savings plan third is reserve instances next is spot instances next is dedicated hosts so basically these five types of payment method or instance method uh, creations are there one more thing one more uh, uh, method is also there uh, and that method I will discuss you in later but basically in starting we are uh, uh, start with these five ways the five ways where we can pay Amazon and uh, where we can create EC2 instances so um, we have to know that what this kind of way are helpful to us when we use on demand when we use savings plan when you use reserve instances and all this so first is on demand on demand instances let you pay for compute capacity by the hour or a second minimum you have to pay 16 seconds with no long term commitments there is no long term commitments are there okay this frees you from the cost and complexities of planning purchasing and maintaining hardware and transform what are the commonly large fixed cost into much smaller variable cost so on demand uh, instances are basically used uh, actually uh, for the lab purpose actually okay and you can also that use that uh, uh, instances in the long term okay so so this is the all about on-demand instances so on-demand instances are recommended for first users that preferred 
the low cost and flexibility of Amazon EC2 without any upfront payment or long term commitment. So there is no long term commitment you have to provide. But you can use the long term process. So there is a there is not a fixed rule to you don't use uh, that uh, instances in long term. So next the applications with the short term spiky or unpredictable workloads that cannot be interrupted. So this is a very short term I told you and uh, we are basically use this kind of on demand instances uh, on uh, for my testing purpose. So next point is application being developed or tested on Amazon EC2 for first time. So that's why we use the on demand instances. Next is savings plans. Savings plans is a flexible pricing model that provides savings of up to 72% of your AWS compute uses. This plan savings you the 72% of your AWS compute uses. This pricing model offers lower price on Amazon EC2 instances uses and regardless of instances family size OS tenancy and AWS region and also applies to AWS Farget and AWS Lambda users. Savings plan offer significant savings over on demand. Just like EC2 reserve instances in exchange for a commitment to use a specific amount of computer power. It is measured dollar per hour and th that particular uh, uh, price is mentioned when you are selecting your instance type in AWS and I will show you shortly. And this is used for minimum one year or a three year time period three year time period so you can sign up for savings plan for one or three year term easily manage your plans by taking advantage of recommendations performance reporting and budget alerts in the AWS cost explorer you have to create this savings plan where you can get your recommendations, your performance reporting, your budget alerts, all these are shown in your AWS Cost Explorer. This is a very advantageable plan. And you have to use this plan minimum one year. So you have to pay a lump sum amount for one year and you your the instance is yours. Next, reserve instances. So reserve instances provided you with a significant discount up to 72% compute to on demand instances pricing. In addition, when reserve instances are assigned to a specific availability zone, they provide a capacity reservation, giving you a additional confidence in your availability to launch instances when you need them. So this is the very vital point of reserve instances that is capacity reservation. So what is capaci capacity reservation? Suppose you are creating a on demand instances in, uh, in Amazon EC2 in a, a something zone, availability zone. Okay. So for somehow your VM is uh, power off state for your uh, bill saving purpose and after today you you need that vm to start but in the meantime the amazon have a lot of traffic experience and lot of resource experience so that all resources are consumed because all of the client can access that amazon ec2 at the same time so resource is consumed in that way time if you start your VM if all resources are consumed so you have a pop-up message that is uh, 
the resource is unavailable please try again later because all resource are already consumed so how they give you resource so after few times maybe one hour maybe two hour it depends when all resource are stabilized then you can start your VM then the VM will start up properly your VM is not start properly that doesn't means your all the data of that VM is deleted that is not happened but your resource means your CPU your RAM uses of the Amazon AWS services is consumed that's why that VM is not start savings plans also offer significant savings on your Amazon EC2 cost prepared to on-demand instance pricing with savings plan you make a commitment to consist usage amount measure something USD per hour this provides you with the flexibility to use instances configurations that best meet your needs and continue to save money instead of making a commitment to a specific instance configuration okay next a spot instances Amazon EC2 spot instances let you to take advantage of users EC2 capacity in the AWS cloud spot instances are available at up to 90% discount compared to on-demand price it is a big discount this is a 90% discount compared to the on-demand instances if I have to pay in on-demand instances that is hundred dollar so in spot instances we have to pay only the ten dollar we have get discount 90% you can use spot instances for various stateless fault tolerance flexible applications such as a big data containerized workloads CI CD web servers high performance computing and test and development workloads because spot instances are tightly integrated with AWS services such as auto scaling EMR ECS cloud formations data pipeline and AWS batch you can choose how to launch and maintain your applications running on a spot instances moreover you can easily combine spot instances with on-demand instances RIs and savings plans instances RI means reserve instances reserve instances and saving plan instances to further optimize workloads cost with the performance due to the optimizing scale of AWS spot instances can offer the skill and cost saving to run hyperscaled workloads you also have to an options to hibernate spot terminate your spot instances when EC2 reclaims the capacity back two minutes of notice only on the AWS you have easy access to unused compute capacity at such massive scale all at up 90% of discounts understand so basically its spot instance are running on a bet so you you have to uh, uh, request a bet so I giving you a part instance I giving you one dollar somebody is giving you the two dollar so the instance is give it to the give it to that man who is giving two dollar so there is a betting process is over here and the spot instances are basically some of the instances which is uh, or the compute capacity like uh, servers are inside the Amazon EC2 which we are not using so in that instance that resources are selling by Amazon with the spot instances with the baiting process so sometimes you uh, your uh, instances you, you you are winning in the bet so your instances is running so in the within a two minute notice the Amazon will get back that uh, instances instances why because somebody is uh, 
giving a better prize money or better betting rate for that resources so for that suppose i win the bet and i give it a two dollar uh, for that instances to uh, aws after few hours somebody is giving that resources for three dollar so three dollar is much higher so that compute capacity or the resource are giving to that person with two minute notice so this is a spot instances next dedicated host Amazon EC2 dedicated host allows you to use your eligible software license from vendors such as a Microsoft and a Oracle on Amazon EC2 so that you get the flexibility and uh, cost effectives of using your own license but with the resiliency simplicity and the elasticity of AWS and Amazon EC2 dedicator host is a physical server fully dedicated for you there is a physical server which is fully dedicated for you so you can help address corporate complaints requirements Amazon EC2 dedicated host is also integrated with AWS license manager a service which helps you to manage your software license including Microsoft Windows Server and the SQL Server license in license manager you can specify your licensing terms of government license users as well as your dedicated host management performance preferences for host allocations as host capacity utilizations once set up AWS takes care of this administrative task on your behalf so that you can seamlessly launch virtual machine on dedicated host just like you would launch EC2 instances with the AWS provided license so that is the very big uh, advantage of dedicated host so it's basically Amazon provide you a dedicated server where you manage your server license and all these things you also in suppose you are in, you are, you are uh, installing uh, um, like uh, uh, Windows Server 2016 or Windows Server 2019 on that and uh, you are installing a Hyper-V on that so in the Hyper-V you can create your VMs also so, so these facilities you can get in uh, dedicated host options but it is a little bit cost costly uh, uh, respect all those the uh, plans next is a next and lastly here is uh, some capacity reservation is there so here you can see on demands uh, savings plan reserve instances post spot instances all all we uh, discussed and lastly the thing I told you in the first slide that is the capacity reservation it is a new thing uh, this is just kind of uh, just kind of uh, reserve instances uh, to start using capacity reservation you create the capacity reservation in required availability zone then you can launch insist instances into reserve capacity view its capacity utilization in a real time and increase or decrease your capacity you needed you can specify how the reservation ends you can choose manually cancel and capacity reservation end it actually uh, automatically at a specific time if you specify an end time the capacity reservation is cancelled within an hour of a specific time for example if you specify 5 31 2019 or 2021 whatever the time and you set the time and after the time period is expired your instance is automatically terminated after reservation ends you can no longer ta target instances to capacity reservations so this is a, a very uh, useful advantage of capacity reservation so this is all about the services 
now i just go you go uh, show you some uh, uh, show you the services in aws concern where you can find but i cannot create those instances on that because uh, if i create those instances because the, i am using the free tier of aws if i create or you just you might you just you if you create uh, this kind of instances you have uh, you have to pay bill for amazon because your billing will generate it so i am logging it's login here you just find EC2 over here so I'm going to the EC2 dashboard in your left hand side under instances you can see those options which is uh, spot instances, savings plan, reserve instances, dedicated host and capacity reservations so now I just uh, on demand instances as this these instances when we create these instances under instances this is, these are all are the on demand instances and we already created on demand instances in my last video uh, with the Linux and uh, Windows operating system so next I go to the spot, spot instances when I click a spot instances a page will pop up so here we have to request a spot instances over here just click on the request for a spot instance so now you have to select what kind of instances what type of uh, tasks you have to do load balancing workloads or big data workloads flexibility workloads or the defined durations workloads so then you have to create your instance types over here sorry instance template if you don't have template so you can create template over here you, then you have to select your AMI which operating system do you want to need you have to select the network you have to select the availability zone and uh, you have to select the key pair over here so all these completions you have to request for the spot instances to the Amazon so I'm back so I'm not requesting Amazon for spot instances go to the savings plan same in the savings plan flexibility there uh, there some description is written you have to uh, purchase one year to three year term, in term and conditions you have to purchase a saving plan so you have to click purchase saving plan from here just click on a purchase saving plan then a cost management page will open then you have to uh, purchase your savings plan so I am not configuring over here so just go to the next option that is a reserve instances on the reserve instances you have to send you have to purchase reserve instances then you have to select I am selecting suppose uh, Windows with SQL standard TNC is default or you have, you have to select the dedicated TNC I have select default offering class any instance type you have to select so many instance type I will create a separate video for the instance type so you can select T2x large instances term 1 month to 12 months 12 months to 36 months two options are available select payment option you can select and search no reserve instances found with this configuration so I just select another Linux Unix search you can see these are uh, the instances reserve instances are showing over here so here you can see the effective rate per hour and the upfront price 
1,162 dollar per per year. So you have to add to cart and purchase. I just go back. Next, dedicated host. I just click on dedicated host. So, same allocate dedicated host. So, here you have to fill all these things. Here, the tag, here, the instance family, all the instance type. Here is also mention your capacity of CPU, RAM, all these things and then you have to allocate. I just go back. Next capacity reservation. Just create a capacity reservation. You can select your instance type. What do you have to select? Platform availability zone, TNC, quantity, all these things and you have to specific time, this time period to this time period and you have to then create. So this capacity reservation request are generated or uh, denied based on the EC2 instances limits and the availability, availability, available capacity. When you create the capacity reservation, you reserve the specified capacity of use. Uh, the reserve capacity is changed at the selected instances type on demand rate whether an instance is running in it or not. You can also use your regional reserve instances with your capacity reservations to benefit from the billing discounts. So I, if I select the front uh, region to the capacity reservation so here you can get other options on that maybe it is uh, uh, automatically select the Mumbai okay so in this is how you can uh, assign your uh, instances or you can create your instances with the spot instance savings plans any plan you can take Okay, so if my video is informative, please like the video and subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get more up to date.